Hey there, my name is Zimri Mayfield, and today we're gonna make a flat design watch in under 10 minutes. So follow along. Press M to get the box tool. Fill in the space of the artboard, and mine is already selected to the color I want. I have my color palette here, which I got from flaticolorpicker.com. It's a lengthy name, but a great website. Now that I have the first layer, I'm gonna call it background, and I'm gonna lock it. Then I'll make a new layer and call it watch. This is where all the, the big stuff will happen. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit and press L to get the circle tool. Then I'm going to hold Alt and Shift at the exact same time and drag out a circle. Then I'm going to, once my circle selected, I'm going to press I to get the dark gray color. Select it. Press Control C to copy it. Control F will paste it on top of itself. Now we have two circles on top of each other. I have the top one selected. I'll show you right here. The red square shows you which layer is selected. Now I will shrink down the top layer by holding Alt and Shift and scaling it just like that. Now select both of the circles and I'm going to hit minus front so I get rid of that middle space. Okay, cool. You know what? Let's actually make it, let's make the uh, middle circle a bit smaller so our edge is wider. That's better. Now let's scale the whole thing down a little bit. Now, we need to create the part that connects the clock face to the band. So I have P selected, which is the pen tool. I'm going to come up here to where I want the band to end. I'm going to hold shift and drag it out. I'm going to click this point to get rid of there so we can make a right turn. I'm going to click over here and click down and complete it. And that's what it'll look like. That looks pretty good. So now we need to make another one over there. So I'm going to press Control C, Control F. And instead of going Transform, Reflect, I'm going to do it more quickly by having it selected, pressing O, clicking, and dragging. And then hold Shift. So what O does is it transforms it and reflects it how you need it to be more quickly than going transform reflect. So now I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to select both of these, press control C, control F, copied it and pasted it on top. Now I'm going to hit O and click and drag, just like that. Now I'm going to hold shift while moving these down. Let's see. And put them in place. They're not quite in place yet. Let's just move it up. Okay, good. That'll be fine. Now we need to fill in the clock face. So what I'm going to do is... Oh, those are on a different layer. So I'm going to press L to get the circle tool. Try to find the middle of the circle somewhere and hold Alt and Shift while I drag out. Make sure that it fills the whole space, making it bigger when you need to and moving it to where it needs to be. So that'll be fine. And I'm going to press I and make it light gray but you can see that it's on top of the watch, so select it and press Control, Shift, left bracket. Brings it to the back. Cool. Now our whole watch is almost completed. We need our tick marks now. So press M to get the square tool and try to find what you think is the middle of the circle. Now I'm going to press I and fill it with a dark gray. That's a little too long for a tick mark, so I'm going to shrink it down, but I'm going to make it wider, so I'm going to help hold alt while I drag out one side and it will drag out both sides but I'm gonna zoom in some so I can see a little bit better and let's zoom out to see how that feels never be afraid to zoom out with your artwork in fact I, su I highly suggest it so you can see how the overall feeling of the artwork is so it's too wide I'm just gonna bring it in a little bit probably how it was in the beginning but if you don't play with things you never find out Okay, cool. Now we need to make tick marks that go all the way around the circle. This is done very easily by selecting the tick mark. Press R to get the rotate tool. Find the middle of the circle. And while you hold Alt, click. And it'll bring up this dialog box. We do not want 130 degrees. We want 45. And if you press preview, it'll show you where it'll copy the new tick mark. So if I hit copy, it'll have one tick mark there and one there. So I'm going to click it. And now, to, create, uh, to repeat that process, I'm going to press Control D all the way around the circle. And we can see that the tick marks are closer to some sides than others, so I'm just going to select all of them and use the arrow keys to kind of center the whole shebang. Okay, that looks good to me. 
Now all we have to do is create the clock hand. So I'm going to press L again to get the circle tool. Create a small circle there. That's good. Uh, it's a little bit too big, don't you think? Something more like that is appropriate. Now I'm going to create, actually, a little bit bigger. Sorry for the indecisiveness. But artwork's a process. Okay, so now I'm going to hit M, and I'm going to create the hour hand. The hour hand is shorter than the other hands, and I want it to be dark gray. So I'm, I'm going to select both of these and hit this so it aligns it to the middle. Now I'll show you a cool trick we can do. I have this hour hand selected, and I want to make a minute hand. So I'm going to press R gives me the rotate tool and I'm going to click where I think the middle of the circle is so somewhere about there would be good let me do that again R click where it is now all you have to do is hold alt and click and drag so what this is doing is copying the hour hand and moving it around the circle at the same time so I'm gonna have my minute hand be somewhere about there now the minute hand is much longer than the hour hand so I'm gonna drag it out some Let's see about that. Let's make our hour hand a little bit longer. Okay, that's looking good. So we have the hour hand, the minute hand, and now it just comes down to seconds. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the minute hand, I'm gonna do, do the process again, press R, find the middle of the circle, maybe about there. I'm gonna hold Alt and click and drag. Now I have the second hand. That is definitely not the middle of the circle, but we got close, I think. Now my second hand, I'm gonna drag it all the way out there and make it a bit skinnier and pull it down there also. And so the second hand, I want it to be red, something like that. Okay, cool, that looks good. So now let's build the long shadow. All we have to do is select our watch, press Control G, that'll make it a group. Now what we wanna do is copy it and paste it behind itself two times. So press Control C to copy. Now Control B, it's behind it once. As you can see in the layer tab now, we have two of them. Press Control B again, now we have three. What we wanna do is select the top one, make it invisible. Now select the middle one, merge it into one shape, make it black. Select the bottom one, merge it into one shape and make it black. So now that we have the bottom one selected, I'm using the arrow keys to just pull it out from underneath the other one. Let's see. And I'm gonna move it to where I want my shadow to end. I don't want this to be too long, so I'm gonna put it about there. That should be good. And now what I'm gonna do is make sure that this bottom one is completely invisible because we want the shadow to end invisibly. Okay, so now what we have to do is change our blend tool. So double click the blend tool and go down to specified distance one pixel. Press okay. Now, make sure this is selected, the middle layer, and now also the invisible layer. So we have the middle and the bottom one selected. Go object, blend, make. Made a cool little shadow that goes invisible. However, the shadow is a little bit too strong, so I'm going to bring it down to about 30. And now we find out why we have three watches to begin with, because we'll bring it back just like that. Now let's see if we can't scale down the whole thing. So I'm going to select both of these layers because it's a little bit too big, I think, and go something like that. I'm going to use the arrow key to bring it up some. There we go. Okay, now I don't want my shadow to go past the artboard, obviously. You know what? We need to bring it up more. So let's see if we can't move it up some. There we go. Okay, so I don't want the shadow to go outside the artboard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press M and create the size of the artboard here. And then I have this black box. And then I want to select the blend. Illustrator will automatically name your blend blend when you use the object blend. So now we have this big square selected and the blend selected. Now we, all we have to do is press control 7. That made a clipping mask. So that meant it got rid of the black square and it also got rid of 
any of the shadow that was outside of the black square. Okay, but it also put our watch behind the shadow. So all we have to do is drag the watch up top and it's back there. Okay, hopefully this was under 10 minutes and hopefully it wasn't too fast. And if you got any useful tricks or tips out of it, I'd love it if you left a comment, liked the video, or subscribed. Whenever I get a subscriber, I'm psyched for the rest of the day. Okay, thanks so much. Bye.